gentlemen. Throwback Thursday. Today we're going to play through the original uh, Simpsons arcade game from Konami. Uh, this came out in 1991. Uh, not sure how long of a game it is, so we're just going to get right into it and start playing after the uh, opening intro scene here. Simpsons has been out uh, forever. I remember I was in grade six and uh, a couple of girls in my class were lip-syncing the uh, Bart Simpson song. It's funny, it really has been out forever. Um, the Simpsons wasn't one of my favorite cartoons personally, but uh, you know I definitely respect the longevity of it. Um, that being said, let's get right into it. This is being played on the uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, I'm using an arcade stick to play, so you can hear the, uh, the buttons being pushed while I play. And uh, we're just going to get into a local game. No online. Uh, free play. We're going to try to uh, play as if we are using quarters, though, however. And, um, yeah, we're going to play as if, uh, you know, we don't have all the money in the world to, uh, to play the entire game. However, we are going to play the entire game. I liked, I did like Homer. I'm going to scroll through uh, different characters during the game, I guess. Uh, first one I'm going to use, Bart. Bart! Cool little intro. This came out two years after the Ninja Turtles. It's the uh, same type of game as the Ninja Turtles. 100%. Basically just a uh, basically just a hack and slash. Uh, big, big cool uh, graphics. Big sprites. Character animations really good. For those of you who do know the uh, cartoon very well, oh, got hit by the door there. Uh, you'll notice the um, a lot of guest appearances from characters in the game, or from characters in the cartoon. Sorry. You pick up items in this. Can you pick up characters? I'm not sure. There was a cool little feature where uh, if you were playing with somebody, you could uh, tag team them. Basically, tag team an enemy. We we're only playing single player. Uh, it's not gonna happen. <clears throat> so, you know, jump kick, jump kick. Basically, the same controls as Ninja Turtles. Is really just jump and attack. You push both buttons at the same time. You do your special attack. But, uh, overall, fun game. Fun game back in the day. In the arcade, do I remember seeing this in the arcade very often? Uh, for a little bit. For a little bit, I remember. Here we go, assuming the first boss. Yeah. Yeah. And fall down. Same, um, same battle scenarios kind of as uh, Ninja Turtles. You know, play through a bunch of characters, take a couple shots at the uh, boss, move up, move up and down, I believe, on the boss. Oh, he jumps on you. Watch it, yeah. I've never played through this entire game either, so this will be a first for me. I'm going to uh, attack these bosses like I would a boss in Ninja Turtles. So basically, just move up, do attack, an attack or two, and then move down. Obviously, this guy's meant to be hit while he's while his pants are falling down, and then he flashes like crazy when he's almost beaten. Bart seems to do a, a spinny attack or a spinny animation, anyways. I'm not sure what that is. If there is a special move to get that done, there you have it. End of the first level. Eat my shorts or something. Alright, bonus 
stage hit buttons. Pop your balloon and go after Maggie. Ready? Yes. Go! We're crushing it with the arcade stick here. That was very easy. Alright, in the words of Bart Simpson, let's go, man. Krusty Land, stage two. It's a very colorful, colorful graphics. I can see why this would be a uh, fan favorite. It's actually really well done. stuff happening in the background too. Which is cool. I remember when I was younger, um, I already had this on the PlayStation 3. Ooh, gave me a drink. Nice. Ooh. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, one morning I woke up after I just bought this, because this is I think like 12 years old or something on the uh, on the PlayStation 3. But uh, I remember waking up one morning and my son, who at the time was, I don't know, six years old maybe? No, he would have been like five. But I woke up one morning and I came downstairs and he was playing this. <laughs> and he was playing it by himself. <clears throat> and uh, because you get as many continues as you want, he was playing it. He was almost finished the game. I remember seeing him. I thought that was kind of cool. But it just shows you that the uh, the look of this game is appealing. It's appealing to uh, you know, children. It's appealing to adults. Obviously, everybody knows The Simpsons. If you don't know The Simpsons, you've been living under a rock for the last 30 years or so. The Simpsons has been out forever. All, like I said, this is all going to be new to me. I don't remember any of this. If you get close to the monkey, he, uh, apparently he attacks you. He just sent me to the screen. So I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm assuming if you get close to the, uh, the bear, that it will do something to you. Let's, let's test it out. We have unlimited credits. Let's test it out. I like how he uses his skateboard to attack. Picks it up. It's almost like a weapon. Like in uh, Ninja Turtles, how they use their weapons. Oh, I thought maybe that was going to be a loss. These guys are like foot soldiers, the equivalent of... The cool thing about these cartoons and, and whatnot in this uh, age of uh, gaming and arcade games was that you could do a lot of these games where it's just hack and slash, basically. And people are going to play them. People are going to pay the money to make it as far as they can. And you basically knew what to expect every time. So. All right, let's throw a quarter in. Oops, that's not a quarter. Here we go. Oh, we might have to use parts the entire time. I'm not sure. That's okay. If you have to continue with Bart or what? I'm the impression you can use anybody you want in. I could be wrong. Gotta use Bart, that's okay. I remember, um. Remember Lisa, I think Lisa uses a saxophone. And Marge uses a vacuum cleaner. And, uh. Yeah, Homer uses. What's Homer use? Maybe he just uses his fist, I can't remember. The next time I continue, I'm going to see if uh, there's any way I can use a different player to continue with. The Ninja Turtles took about 38 minutes, I believe. Let me see how long this game takes. Oh, I think I remember this. Basically, this just... Uh, Bigger and bigger, I think. 
This is like the equivalent of Baxter Stockman, in my opinion. Um, in the sense that Baxter Stockman just kind of flew around in the Ninja Turtles. And you would sit there and jump, jump kick them. Ooh, this guy crushes you. This music is not as memorable as the, uh, the Ninja Turtles boss music. And yes, I'm going to keep comparing it to the Ninja Turtles because they're basically the same game, just with different graphics. foot soldiers are very aggressive. Something in the sky. I'm gonna turn up just a hair. I don't know how well the sound is in the video, but let's turn up a little bit. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I like that. When you were young playing this and you said hell, um, you know, it made you feel bad. Yeah. It made you feel like you were a badass. Remind me of like Michael Jackson with the, uh, the hat, like it was a dance or something. I don't know, that's kind of random, but that's what it reminded me of. Ooh, umbrellas. I like that, how they use uh, certain objects as weapons. You know, whereas uh, Ninja Turtles, obviously, they would use, you know, swords and this and that. Let me use Bart automatically. So while these games are fun to play through probably once, I don't find a lot of replay value in these games. And so the arcade one up which is, um, you know, the uh, Mortal Kombat's I have are arcade one-up products. While they made The Simpsons and Ninja Turtles and such, I couldn't justify paying the money to, uh, to get them. For one, because they're expensive and it's, you know, money is tight. Especially living uh, where I live in Canada. The economy's crazy here. The cost of living is ridiculous where I am. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, the Ninja Turtles and the Simpsons cabinets are like 800 bucks. And while there's, you know, two or three games, and even the Simpsons cabinet can be modified, I guess, pretty easily with just using a, um, a memory stick, a memory card. It's probably the easiest one to modify, apparently, if you even want to call it that. Um, I still can justify buying it because... I would play it once or twice, and literally that would be it. Um, you know, you'd have the online leaderboards and whatever, like, seriously, who cares about the online leaderboards when it comes to a game like this? If I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. But I'd play through it once and it would just sit there, and while it's cool in the nostalgic sense, it's, it's definitely not worth Sewers. The 
it's definitely not worth the money. In my opinion. I mean, you might have it, you might love it. But, uh, to me it's just not. There's, a, there's other games I would have rather have. Uh, Killer Instinct being one of them, which I can't find anywhere here where I live. Uh, I'm still looking to get that one if I can. But to be honest, I'm quite happy with my Mortal Kombat cabinets. I'm happy with my Street Fighter. And while I actually have been looking into maybe getting a Street Fighter, a different one, an online cab, in the meantime, I am happy with mine, so... So yeah, I gotta be very selective about what uh, what I buy next for arcade cabinets. Because, um, you know, they're, they're not the cheapest, right? I wonder if I need this food. Right. Where do I think I'm going? I'll tell you where I'm going. Yeah, where I'm going. I try to. I like how they uh, partner up there to do an attack. Uh, they don't seem too hard though. Ooh, that's, that's, cool. that's a cool move. A lot of good animation in this. I find the animations even. Yeah, a couple, came, came a couple years after the Ninja Turtles. The animation's definitely better. Definitely better. This game would be a lot of fun with another player. I do have the um, I do have the X Men arcade game on here too, which I'm gonna play another time. Um, I'm gonna play Narc. I found a good version of Narc. Retro Pi and the uh, music and everything in that is cool. And Arc is a really good one in my class. All right, let's continue. There we go. They all flash off crazy, which is interesting. Moe's Tavern. Ooh, nice pictures on the wall. Yeah, see, now this level would be fitting to use Homer in. Because he spent so much time here. I like how Bart moves around pretty quickly too because of his skateboard. I wonder if he's the uh, quickest in the game because of that. So far, if this was in the arcade, I would have spent maybe 75 cents in it. Looks like you can throw the enemy. I mean, the Ninja Turtles were always able to throw. I'm sure some of you are saying, okay, enough talking about the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Just like I will never stop playing Mortal Kombat. Stop talking about the Ninja Turtles in this game. Come on, Mo, give me some. Give me some drinks. Yeah, like they're fighting with brooms, fighting with their hats. I'll probably use the slingshot here. A lot of cameos in this game. Pretty sure I got unlimited shots with the swing shots. That's cool. So I guess you get to keep that until you die. Nice. Oh, the Sims. <laughs> That's cool. Simpsons arcade game in the Simpsons arcade game. Well, Konami made aliens too, I, I guess. They must have. The aliens is there. I don't remember if there was an alien game that's like this. Yeah. 
great animation. Stinky breath. SNK. I don't know if uh, anyone remembers that one. But they're all uh, arcade perfect ports. Uh, Street Fighter, uh, all the Street Fighters, Street Fighter Alpha series. I have the uh, Street Fighter 3. A couple versions of that one. The only one worth playing though is Third Strike. boss gonna be oh, the boss of this anyways is it gonna be a bear looks like it Something's gonna happen on this bridge. Oh, fish. I can use that fish. Uh, Could have used it for a little extra health. characters have more than just punches and kicks. They do a bunch of other things, too. Flying squirrel. strong.
attacked and maybe one. Oh my goodness. A lot of boulders falling. It's already flashing. One attack and then back off. See if we can beat this without continuing. That does not look like it's gonna happen. I don't know how much money I uh, would have spent on it now, but uh, yeah, what a bit. If the end bosses or anything like the end bosses and Ninja Turtles, then we'd be spending another five bucks, ten bucks if this was uh, an arcade with quarters. This guy's really flashing a lot. There we go. Got insult to injury here. There she is. Stage 6, Dreamland. Uh, interesting. I don't know if I'd be fighting donuts since uh, I'd rather be eating them. Maybe I'll get some donuts tonight. Definitely don't remember this. If this is uh, some reference to the uh, cartoon in any sense, then I don't remember that either. So to be honest, I've never really, uh, I've never watched the cartoon a lot. Back in the day, maybe a bit here and there. But level's kind of neat. Um, paying homage to the uh, four main characters, obviously. Everything's black and white, which is kind of cool. Representing the uh, dream state, I guess. Um, Donuts obviously had to do with Homer. Saxophones have to do with Lisa. I'm assuming, I'm assuming. plant in the dreams as uh, characters with their heads falling off. Simpson here. I mean, he's an angel. He's trying to uh, save his sister, after all. There we go. Oh, Ooh. A giant bowling ball. I don't know. Seems kind of uh, silly, but I 
like I said, maybe this uh, is in reference to an episode that I haven't seen. Which is very likely, considering there was uh, probably 7 million episodes. bowling ball. Back to the real world. Hit the buttons, no problem. Wake up and find Maggie. Ready? Go! Well, that was quick. Easy to do with an arcade stick. All right, I'm assuming this is the last level. No doubt, Mr. Burns is behind this. name of the superhero Bart. I think it is, if I remember right. Oh, the uh, vicious umbrella attacking uh, characters here. Bart versus the space mutants. Game for the uh, Nintendo. Like the uh, crang of uh, you know second last boss of the uh, Ninja Turtles, maybe that's what this is kind of like. Yeah. Nope, definitely. 
actually not even a boss, just a uh, little sub boss maybe. like these games. I just, uh, it's fine. There's, there's no real strategy behind them. Um, I mean, especially on an emulator like this, or an emulated version kind of thing like this, where you have, like, unlimited credits. Um, you know, by the 30 minute mark, I'm usually ready to, uh, you know, hang it up anyway, just to call it quits, so... Point, you just gotta keep playing until you beat it. And you put in all the time. I like how he when he kills you. They stole that animation from the Shredder.
Not over yet. 40 minutes. So it's a long one. Alright, the nuclear power plant. This definitely has to be the last level. Nice if it's just an end battle, which it looks like it will be. Welcome to my world. Alright, so sub boss here is the equivalent of Krang and Ninja Turtle. Battles like this, I always imagine if I was in the arcade and I had like no more quarters left, how much would that suck? And I realized, well, it's an unlimited version and I have unlimited quarters. Back in the day, we did not. I would go to the arcade when this came out, I was 12, 11 or 12, and I probably would have had no more than maybe two or three dollars on me. And because Mortal Kombat was already out in Street Fighter, I was more than likely put playing those. I'm curious if he flashes when he's almost beat. to this point in the arcade, you have to keep on playing. Hey, you? All right, here we go. Mr. Burns. Uh, you know what? He reminds me of Dr. Wily from Mega Man. UFO, we've got a nu nuclear power suit. Couple of attacks. Can't get in that range of them. Shots and then go up and do no, no. Epic music, very cool. Oh. The tank that reminds me of uh, Smash TV. For those who remember playing that. that I really remember is I'd buy that for a dollar which is actually uh, reminds me of Robocop which I think Smash TV well Smash TV copied the running man I believe 
I remember if I buy that for a dollar, but smash the paper for Robocop. Smash TV is another one I'd have to revisit. That game was really cool growing up. I remember playing the Super Nintendo version. I did see it in the arcade once. And, uh, one joystick was for the gun, the other joystick was to move around. Alright, game over. I'm out of quarters. Just kidding. Continue. Burns the pain in the neck. It takes forever. I uh, don't find this to be a fun battle. And I really don't like how you can't see how close he is to being dead. It's not flashing. But it seems like here they were just trying to get as many quarters as they could. Soother. Uh, new features unlocked and cool stuff, apparently. So there you have it. The Simpsons arcade game on um, PlayStation 3. I remember when these games came out on the PS3, I, I bought them pretty quickly. I think they were only like 10 bucks. But there you have it. I played with the uh, Mayflash Arcade Fight Stick. Uh, to those who have asked me to play, sorry, I forgot, I forgot the, uh, the names of the people that asked, but there you have it. The Simpsons, little throwback Thursday action, back to 1991 when the game came out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that'll be the last time I ever play this game. <laughs> but, uh, 
but I'm glad I do. And there you have it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody.